Today I'm going to show you how to use assertion to check if a variable is valid or not. So uh, here I create a project. The name is assertion example and also I have a, a class also has the same name, assertion example. And uh, uh, in this example we want to use uh, the arguments here. You see, uh, actually we want to use uh, uh, the first argument, index is zero, and also uh, we want to make it integer, right? Uh, convert to uh, integer, and uh, also check if uh, this argument uh, has the value uh, smaller or equal to 10. Uh, actually, this uh, if in this range, that means uh, uh, this number is valid. If not, uh, then uh, assertion will help us to uh, give uh, some error message. Uh, so if it's uh, less than or equal to 10, uh, we'll get a print like pass. If uh, uh, it's uh, 11 or larger than 10, uh, we'll get some error message. Uh, yeah, okay. Uh, let me show you if it works. You see, uh, we get uh, error message. Uh, actually, this error message is uh, not from uh, assertion. Uh, let me explain why it's not from uh, assertion. Uh, you can see here. Uh, actually, this error message is because uh, we do not have value for x. Uh, x, you see, uh, should get some uh, value when we run a command line created from uh, uh, this project. Uh, actually, this error message is not from assertion. Let me show you why. So, if uh, we make uh, give a number, just give a number, assign 11 to number. So, here, if we write, you see, we have nothing. Yeah, but uh, we have no error, right? Pass. But you can see here, number is 11. It's not less than or equal to 10. Uh, should throw out um, an error. But uh, why we cannot get the error? Because uh, assertion actually uh, can only help us to uh, get some uh, error uh, when we run uh, the like a jar file. Jar file is a kind of executable uh, file uh, from uh, created from a, a Java project. Uh, so let's do it. Let me show you how to build a jar file. You see the hammer? Need to click it. Um, yeah, you see clean and build. And then step by step show you and finally, you'll get the. Yeah, actually, I put uh, the folder. It's very deep. Right? It's, uh, uh, the path is uh, very long. And uh, actually, this folder has uh, um, the jar file. Uh, let me show you. You see here, this is a jar file. Assertion example of the jar. Remember, assertion example is the name of the project name, right? And the jar file is uh, a Java executable file. So, since I already copied the um, path for the jar file, let me paste over here. And also, we need to have uh, uh, some arguments. Uh, yeah, here if I put 11, you see, yeah, still pass, right? And uh, if I put 10, yeah, still pass. Seems like uh, uh, there is uh, no difference. I mean, if you use assertion or do not use assertion, there is no difference. Uh, so how to see the effect, the effect from uh, assertion? Uh, we need to in Able. Enable assertion. You see, here, 
uh, in Igbo assertion actually ten should be um, no ten is not fine in Igbo assertion okay uh, I should put uh, in Igbo not assertion assertions you see ten is alright how about eleven this time, if assertion is enabled, we should get uh, an error. You see, exception in, uh, is called uh, the error. It's called Java dot assertion error. So, from here, we can see really assertion is working, and uh, assertion is working only uh, on command line when we run the Java file. The Java executable file and then we can see the effect from using assertion and uh, remember uh, it, this is like a switch how to turn it on we need to use enable assertions instead of uh, enable assertion okay that's how I want to say about uh, assertion in Java thank you